Welcome back. In this business finance lecture, we'll go over study problem 7-5 in page 246 from the 8th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of the problem. This is a bond uh, instrument with a $1,000 par value, 6% annual coupon rate, so uh, the, the compounding is annual, and 10 year maturity. Given these, and knowing the fact that um, the bond is expected to, to give 8% return, it's currently selling for $1,060, we are first to calculate uh, the original purchase price for the bond, and then the one period holding period return for this bond. So I will without any delay i would like to uh, first start from the first part of the problem number of periods is 10 years the interest rate is eight um, percent that's the expected rate of return obviously at the time of purchase and the purchase price is the question mark the payments the coupon payments are six percent of one thousand dollar face value so they should be sixty dollar and the face value is $1,000. So we simply compute the present value in this case that would automatically yield the purchase price of $865.80. So that would be the original purchase price. Now in the second part of the problem, um, we need to figure uh, the one period uh, holding period return for this investment. So there are multiple ways to approach this problem. One way would be again to use the third row of our uh, financial calculator. Because we are holding it for one year only, um, n would be one. Holding period return is the question mark, so I will just leave it blank. Uh, the present value, the initial purchase price in that case is 865.80. So we will input that from the previous step the payments have not changed and currently this you are able to sell the bond at one thousand sixty dollars now uh again very very important uh, because we are making a payment when we purchase the bond we should not forget to, to, to minus sign for the present value and the payment and future value will be both positive and again using our financial calculator um so we should get compute the i over y and in that case i over y will come out as 29.48 percent so um that's um, that's one way to solve the problem obviously and let me uh, provide an alternative method as well uh, so this is another solution second solution for part b one can simply logically see what's going on so let me draw the timeline so that was last year and this is this year now or i should say now huh? um so you have made um a payment of 865 dollars and 80 cents and in return, a year later, we received a coupon payment of $60. In addition, if should we decide to sell the bond, it's currently selling at $1,060 uh, in the marketplace. So, no wonder it's possible to solve the problem simply using the holding period return formula. And in that case, that would be the final price minus the initial price. Um, plus any additional income in that case we have a coupon payment uh, during the final year all divided by the initial investment so looking from this point of view we know that currently it is selling at 1060 we need to subtract the initial price that we paid in this case 865.80 dollars divided by the initial price 865.80 dollars and in addition, I need to include the coupon yield uh, of $60 and the denominator being the same. So this calculation 
should yield the same result as the previous case. So that's an alternative way to solve uh, the same uh, problem. So that should complete our solution and we are done.